Well, welcome to what I think makes for the greatest sad day for Tottenham Hotspur. Spurs fans and players uh, will be getting used to the news today that finally, after weeks of speculation, rumours and continuous denial, the Tottenham Hotspur board have finally said goodbye to Martin Yeo. I think I can safely say to the majority of the Spurs faithful that it is a day where we are all totally gutted. Um, and it seems to be a decision by the board that is not only misguided but completely arrogant and just confirms the feeling that they have a total lack of respect for the manager, the players and the fans. As you all know by now, the news spread like crazy at White Hart Lane last night where Tottenham better led and then lost 1-2 at their home uh, Group G UEFA tie. It was a night of the atmosphere, both on and off the pitch seemed a little bit crazy, somewhat confused and at times almost a little aggressive. Initial rumours um, hit White Hart Lane as the players were going out to the pitch, spread through the press box and then into the crowd. First, it seems that Martin Yell had tendered his resignation prior to kick-off for the match, which would have gone directly against what he had said in his press conference um, on Wednesday prior to the match, where he, when questioned about his position at White Hart Lane, he said he would never quit. Um, but the rumours spread that he'd resigned and emotional fans started chanting his name. There was a chant of stand up for Martin Yell and there's only one Martin Yell ringing around the ground. It was a sight and sound that definitely brought tears to my eyes, um, as it did to a lot. And I hope Daniel Levy was <laughs> listening to that because I think um, the majority of fans still well and truly behind Martin. Then, as the quality of the third play deteriorated and uh, the girls started uh, wading in, our defence fell apart. The front players just looked like they were out for themselves. Um, the question whether players knew about Martin's demise before the game started to come up. However, it seems that they did not. and. Um, did not, and when Martin Yell left the pitch, he actually went to the dressing room to tell them where it's been reported that Ledley King was asking the gaffer what the news was, what was happening, and that's when he said goodbye and told everyone what was going on. But I'm sure they couldn't have failed to have noticed the change in atmosphere and the change in their gaffer, who at times um, looked distracted and upset and who hung back in the dugout for the majority of the game. Finally, after hours after the game, the club finally um, confirmed and released a statement that they had in fact asked Martin and Chris Horton to stand down. I actually have a statement here which says, We can confirm that the board had this evening asked Martin Yarrow, club manager and Chris Horton, first team coach, to stand down from their positions with immediate effect. We have not taken this decision lightly or without recognition for the contribution both Martin and Chris have made to the club. Daniel Levy's comment, um, just, I don't know, if I was to say what I really think of him, I would start offending people, but he said for me, Chris and, uh, Martin and Chris's departure is regrettable. I really don't think that that's the case and I don't think anyone believes it. What I'll skip on to is Martin Yell, who added, I can understand the position of the club in light of the results. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here. Tottenham Hotspur is a special club and I want to thank the terrific truck staff and players. For me the fans here were amazing and their support and I would also like to say thank you. I shall never forget them. Oh, it makes me quite emotional just reading it. <laughs> the way it's been handled from the start of the season seems to have been a disgrace. Last night was the final night in the back for our manager and supporters who endured weeks of um, speculation. To sack the manager also moments, it seems, before the start of an important Euro ma European match and allow the need to leak out as it did. Well, the board should be disgusted with themselves, frankly. And to see Daniel Levy smiling in the crowd. I mean, I don't know what he was smiling about, but to see that that made me feel a little bit thickened. We have no confirmation on who will be running the club next, um, but it seems the board's flirting with the 
coach, uh, Juan Caroma, um seemed to take off, and he's the most likely to be taking the reins, whether that's next week, whether that's the end of the year, uh, whether that is next summer, we don't know yet. Um, Gus Poyet is also being offered a second-in-command job, and it seems that he will be coming into that very shortly. We'll bring you more of that as we hear it throughout the day. For now, uh, we want to hear from you guys. Last night's reactions were really mixed, um, I think mostly because a lot of people couldn't believe what was happening. Um, I can't believe we've given up a manager who's done more for us, I feel, in three short years than most have done um, before him. <laughs> we finished twice in fifth place in two years, twice Daniel Levy, twice. Um, I feel like we've lost a friend to White Hart Lane, and I wish Martin Yell the very best, wherever he heads off to. Um, for me, he'll always feel like our manager, wherever he is and where he, wherever he goes, even when he's repl being replaced by two Spanish blokes, um, who I'm sure would be great. But <laughs> one of those um, teams is well and truly smashed the lad by the lads up the road the other day. So, I don't know what that says about his team. Anyway, I could rant all day um, about the, lack, the loss of Martignol and what it means to me and how gutted I feel. But um, we want to hear from you. We set up a uh, tribute message board on Spurs Pie, so please go on, leave us a message and let us know what you think about the situation. Um, www.spurspies.tv and leave a comment on this post. Let me know what you think of my emotional ranting and um, what you think of the players' dreadful performance last night, what you think of the board, and most importantly, I think, what you want to see um, from Tottenham Hotspurs in the future. Where do you think we should go from here? So log on to www.spurspies.tv. Um, you'll have more emotional ranting from us throughout the day and more comment and we just want to hear from you so log on, let us know how you are feeling today.